So we're getting you started in Germany actually. So you'll see the snacks that you will be having, they're very savory inside. So we need a wine that still has a lot of freshness. The grape Verde obviously will be Riesling, the flagship grape Verde of Germany. But it's a very opulent Riesling. It is coming from a region <laughs> called Pfalz. Yeah. And Pfalz always produce a little bit of a richer style of Riesling. And in this one there is a few grams of residual sugar as well. So this slight sweetness really will balance it out the savory character of the snacks you have coming. This is the Chenin Blanc. So we are in the Loire Valley. So a beautiful area that is in the central part of France. And the flagship grape variety, it is Chenin Blanc over here. So this bottle is very special. It's a winery that is not too old. It's a fairly young winery, but producing very, very small quantities. Mm -hmm. Every single bottle is absolutely phenomenal. So the Grand Rougerie, we only had three bottles for the 2019 vintage and we have to wait for the next wow. one. So you see, we're very kind, we share it with you. <laughs> it's beautiful freshness, very floral as well at the same time. So it's a wine that will produce a very crisp finish on the palate and that will go extremely well with the sashimi style for the dish that you have coming and this fruit character that you're having with the nectar in as well. It's one of my absolute favorite Chenin Blanc in the Loire Valley. Cool. Are we traveling? <laughs> Are you happy to have a little drop of that? Yes. Would you like to wait for yeah, no, the moment? <laughs> and my colleague has already uh, given you a little bit to try. Yes. So you have yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. for so He was here a few months ago. that is made actually in the champagne area so it cannot be called champagne because it's not sparkling or doesn't have bubbles obviously okay. it is made exactly on the same way it's a blend of three different grape varieties and it's a blend of vintages as well so they have put in this bottle every single vintage since 2010 2011 12 up to 2019 and every year they top up a blend the barrel so what you will get at the final product, you will have a steel wine that is very crisp on the palate, but very rich, brioche, toasty on the nose. It's wow. really, really unique experience. And that will go very well with the um, next course that has a, a slight cream character with the, with the nuts uh, in the sauce as well. So it's made by uh, Charles Dufour. Charles. do um, a Bentley pairing uh, and especially with the dog that we have coming without offering uh, an amazing burgundy uh, so obviously Pinot Noir Pinot Noir and dog has always been a long love story and we're not gonna break that up tonight so uh, it is an estate that I absolutely love we are in uh, Burgundy in the Côte d'Or in the heart of Burgundy an area called Pomar and this is 2019 vintage 2019 vintage is a very warm vintage very ripe here in Burgundy when we have a domain like Anpaon, they produce still on the ripe vintages something very fresh, very elegant. This is a special selection. Yeah. They call it Selection Commune because within the Burgundy vineyard, they select the absolute, absolute best grapes and rows to produce this wine, basically. Very perfume, fruit-driven, 
very elegant, still retaining a very amazing freshness and perfect to go with the gaminess of the dock, but to go as well with the sauce that is black currant. Cool. In German. <laughs> so we're in Bordeaux um, and we are in the very iconic village of saint Estève. So saint Estève produces absolutely beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is the blend that we're going to have over here. Okay. Cabernet Sauvignon, a little bit of Merlot and Cabernet Franc. So this is an estate that has been classified, Chateau Lilian Ladouze. And it is arguably one of the most praised early vintage from the last few years. So 2016 has been as per some people will say, even more iconic and of a better quality as the unique 2015, and you really, really have a beautiful expressiveness to it. So the next course, the beef is quite rich. We need to cut through this richness to go with the beef. So you will have those very soft tannin that will do the job as just perfectly, and the intensity of the aromatic will work very well with the next course you have coming. Cool. character over here. So we're still in Bordeaux, we're not going to travel too far. This yeah. time we're in the southern part of Bordeaux, an area that is dedicated to sweet wine, so the area of Sauterne, which arguably it is the most iconic area for sweet wine production in the world. Here, as you can see the vintage on the bottle, it is a fairly aged wine, so 1976. So the wine is 47 years old, and uh, still showing beautifully. So what I love is back in the days, they were not trying to produce sweet wine, they were too rich, too sweet, so the wine is still very fresh uh, with a lively complexity. The complexity is absolutely phenomenal, a lot of dried apricot, a um, little bit of apple skin as well, and this freshness on the back palate that goes very well with the fruit in your next dessert as well. Classify estate, so um, Romer du Ayo, uh, Grand Cru in the 1855 classification. Thank you.